Welcome to Tack Raven Cyber Academy. Thank you for stopping by. Also, thanks goes out to our members Tyson, David, and Derek, along with our subscribers as well. Okay, to start, in an era where digital security is more critical than ever, the illusion of safety is perhaps the greatest deception. Imagine downloading what you believe is a protective shield, only to realize it's a sword dangling above your head. This is the treacherous world of fake antivirus software, a cyber criminal's bait used to infiltrate, deceive, and exploit. Cybersecurity, often perceived as a complex web of defenses, is ironically breached by the very tools designed to protect it. The dark irony? The guardian turns foe. Through the facade of fake antivirus programs, cyber criminals not only access your personal data but also lay the groundwork for more sinister crimes. The concept of antivirus software is rooted in digital defense, shielding computers from viruses, malware, and other cyber threats. Yet in a twisted play, cyber criminals have weaponized this notion against users through counterfeit antivirus programs. These fraudulent tools not only fail to protect, but actively participate in the compromise of personal data. The allure of fake antivirus software lies in its ability to mimic genuine security solutions, often presenting sophisticated interfaces and promising extensive protection. Users from individuals to corporate entities are drawn into this trap, believing they are fortifying their systems against potential threats. The global impact? Millions of dollars lost and an incalculable amount of data compromised annually. Fake antivirus software thrives on credibility, crafted to look and feel like the real deal. It uses logos, scans, and security alerts that mimic those from reputable companies, effectively fooling users into trusting their legitimacy. The psychological game is simple yet effective. Exploit fear. By displaying exaggerated threats or non-existent viruses, these programs manipulate users into taking immediate action, often leading to disastrous results. The journey into the trap set by fake antivirus often begins at the most unsuspecting moments. Cyber criminals strategically place these traps where potential victims frequent from seemingly innocuous download sites to social media platforms and even through direct email campaigns. The common thread? All are designed to exploit trust and curiosity. Social engineering plays a pivotal role in these schemes. By crafting emails that mimic those from legitimate entities or creating fake alerts that urge immediate action, attackers psychologically manipulate their targets. For instance, a user might receive an email alerting them to a severe infection that can only be cleared with a specific malicious software. Advertisements and pop-ups on websites also serve as common vectors. These ads often create a sense of urgency or offer free antivirus solutions, enticing users to click through and install harmful software. It's a well-oiled machine of deception, operating on the fringes of legitimate digital advertising. A typical fake antivirus attack unfolds in stages, each designed to deepen the user's engagement until full control is compromised. Initially, the software presents itself as a benign tool, offering to scan the system for threats. Once run, it invariably detects numerous threats, alarming the user and suggesting an urgent need for action. Following the fake threat detection, the program prompts the user to purchase a premium version to remove these non-existent threats. Once the user complies, not only does the financial compromise occur, but during the process, additional malware may be installed. This could range from spyware to ransomware, taking the attack to another level. The immediate consequences are dire. The user's system becomes compromised, personal data is at risk of being stolen, and the system's performance can degrade significantly. All the while, the user believes they are making progress towards cleaning their system, not realizing the actual harm being done. The impact of falling for a fake antivirus scam extends beyond the initial deception. Short-term effects include financial loss and data breaches, which alone can be devastating. However, the long-term repercussions can reshape a victim's digital and real-life trajectory substantially. Consider the case of a small business that lost thousands of dollars in critical data to such a scam, leading to a temporary shutdown and significant reputational damage. Another example is an individual whose stolen personal data was used to perpetrate further crimes, including identity theft and financial fraud, leading to years of financial and legal struggles. These case studies underscore not only the immediate threats posed by fake antivirus software, but also the enduring challenges that can disrupt lives and livelihoods. The scams do not end at the point of infection, 
they propagate through every piece of stolen data and every dollar fraudulently charged. Fake antivirus programs are rarely an end in themselves, rather, they serve as gateways to broader cyber threats. By establishing a foothold through such scams, cyber criminals can orchestrate more complex and damaging attacks, including ransomware deployments and extensive identity theft operations. The connection between fake antivirus and other forms of malware is particularly alarming. In many cases, the installation of such a program leads to the inadvertent installation of backdoors, which can be used to execute further malicious activities. This not only compromises the security of the infected device, but also that of networks the device interacts with, escalating the problem from a personal issue to an organizational crisis. Victims of fake antivirus scams often face significant financial implications. The direct costs can include the initial purchase of the fraudulent software and any subsequent theft of financial information leading to unauthorized transactions. However, the indirect costs can be even more severe. Real-world examples abound where victims have incurred thousands of dollars in fraudulent charges. Moreover, the process of recovering one's financial standing, restoring stolen funds, contesting fraudulent charges and repairing credit scores, can be lengthy and fraught with challenges. These financial burdens are compounded by the emotional and psychological stress associated with being a victim of cybercrime. The legal landscape surrounding fake antivirus software is complex. While distributing knowingly deceptive software is illegal in many jurisdictions, the global and often nebulous nature of the internet complicates enforcement. Cybercriminals frequently operate across borders, exploiting legal loopholes and differing national cyber law frameworks. Regulatory challenges further complicate the scenario. There is a pressing need for harmonized cyber laws that can effectively target and penalize the distribution of fake antivirus software. Additionally, there are significant challenges in tracking down perpetrators who often use advanced techniques to conceal their identities and locations. Efforts are ongoing to tighten legal frameworks and enhance international cooperation in the fight against cybercrime. However, the pace at which cybercriminals adapt and evolve their strategies often outstrips legislative and regulatory updates posing a continual challenge to legal systems worldwide. Recognizing fake antivirus software is a crucial first step in protecting oneself from this type of cyber threat. Key indicators of a fraudulent program include unsolicited pop-up messages claiming that a severe threat has been detected, requests for immediate payment to remove these threats, and the lack of a reputable source or clear company details behind the software. Before downloading or purchasing any antivirus software, it is essential to conduct thorough research. Check for verified reviews, seek out recommendations from trusted tech websites, and verify the legitimacy of the product through consumer protection sites. Additionally, always ensure that the software comes from an official website or a verified vendor. Maintaining robust cyber hygiene is essential in avoiding not just fake antivirus software, but a broad range of cyber threats. Key practices include regularly updating software to patch any security vulnerabilities using strong, unique passwords for different accounts and being skeptical of unsolicited communications requesting downloads or personal information. Moreover, it is advisable to have a primary antivirus solution from a verified and reputable provider. Regular scans and updates from this software can help prevent the inadvertent download of malicious software including fake antivirus programs. It is also beneficial to educate oneself about the latest cyber threats and prevention strategies as part of routine digital hygiene practices. Technology companies play a crucial role in combating the spread of fake antivirus software. Many are now investing in more sophisticated detection systems that can identify and block fraudulent software before it reaches consumers. Additionally, Companies are taking proactive steps in educating users about cyber threats through various channels, including security blogs, webinars, and direct communications. Efforts are also being made to work collaboratively with other industry players and regulatory bodies to improve the overall security ecosystem. By sharing intelligence and best practices, tech companies can strengthen defenses not just within their products, but across the digital landscape. Governments and institutional bodies worldwide are stepping up their efforts to combat cyber threats, including fake antivirus scams. This includes enacting stricter cyber laws, 
setting up dedicated cybercrime units, and engaging in international cooperation to tackle cybercrime more effectively. Public awareness campaigns are another critical area of focus. By educating the public about the risks of fake antivirus software and other cyber threats, governments aim to reduce the incidence of these scams. Moreover, collaboration between the public and private sectors is being enhanced to foster a more resilient cybersecurity infrastructure. The cybersecurity landscape is continually evolving, with new threats emerging as technology advances. Looking ahead, the integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning in cybersecurity solutions is expected to increase, offering more sophisticated and adaptive means of combating cyber threats, including fake antivirus software. However, as defenses grow stronger, so too do the tactics of cyber criminals. It is anticipated that future cyber threats will be more personalized, making use of big data to tailor attacks to individual users or organizations. This underscores the need for continuous vigilance and adaptation in cybersecurity strategies. The fight against fake antivirus software and broader cyber threats is ongoing and dynamic. Staying informed, practicing good cyber hygiene, and using verified security software are essential steps in protecting oneself. As cyber threats evolve, so must our strategies to combat them. Ultimately, the key to staying safe online lies in being proactive and vigilant. By understanding the risks and taking the necessary precautions, individuals and organizations can not only defend against current threats, but also prepare for future challenges in the digital realm. Once again, thank you very kindly for stopping by. Take care and remain vigilant.